While I initially did a walkthrough using the stable version of RetroArch, I failed to mention something important. RetroArch is constantly in development, and new features are being added on a pretty consistent basis. Features that you might want to take advantage of before the next stable build arrives. And so I've created this video with that in mind. Let's get started. Updating RetroArch is not a straightforward process, but it certainly is not a difficult process in the least bit. If you install version 1.7.5, there are two ways to update RetroArch. The first method is the quickest and the easiest method as it utilizes the new desktop menu option. Open RetroArch and go to show desktop menu. From here, go to tools, online updater, and the update RetroArch option. As you can see, nightly is in the parenthesis. As I understand, nightly builds are basically like betas, which means they can potentially have bugs. If you want to try new features that have been added to the cores, it is a risk you have to be willing to take. Clicking on the option will start a download and extraction, and you should get a notification that asks you to restart RetroArch for the update to take effect. The second option will be similar to the manual install that I did in the initial setup video. Head to lebretro.com, go to Nightly's. The Nightly folder should already be highlighted to the left. Just like the last time, I'll click on the Windows folder and choose the 64-bit version. This time you'll want to grab redist.7z and retroarc.7z. Once you have downloaded them, head to the folder and select both files. The control key will allow you to select multiple files. Once you have both of them selected, do a right click on the mouse to bring up the context menu and select extract files. Head to the folder where you installed RetroArch. Once you have the folder selected, hit OK and the program will start to update. You will be prompted to overwrite a file. Say yes to all. None of your saved settings will be overwritten in the process. As soon as the extraction completes, you are all updated. And that is all there is to it. You will still have to go to the online updater in order to update your cores, so bear this in mind. This is the core, your resident entertainment techie, signing out.